culture to lifestyle, it's time and for I another refreshing up. break in your day. Soda City Live starts right now. Happy Wednesday. We are back with another Wellness Wednesday with our fitness guru, James Patrick. We're shopping at Rosewood Market again. We got a lot of feedback about our last shopping segment. The mm -hmm. people loved it. Loved it. And so you had another idea to bring us back here. But today, what are we focusing on? We're going to talk about carbs and why they're so important in your diet and why you shouldn't be afraid of it. So we're going to talk about carb options as we create our own spaghetti pasta. Ooh. I, see, I always thought pasta, when you're trying to watch your weight, you didn't want to eat that. But there's a healthy way to do it. Total misconception. It's so good for you, and you can make it as healthy as you like. So we're going to go explore some options. Okay, fun. Well, this is the James Patrick recipe, so we're going to start off with our meat first. What are you going to grab? All right, so I always go for the grass-fed mm -hmm. because it's going to be, it's going to have way less hormones, way less antibiotics, um, and it's a healthier version for your red meat eaters. So I go for the grass-fed, and it's easier to cook. Oh, um, really? Yes, absolutely. So this is a great, um, great base, great protein base. We're going to add some other versions of protein also, but this is a really good complete complete protein, meaning it has all your essential and non-essential amino acids. Is it really greasy like other ground beef? Absolutely not. No, oh. absolutely not. And okay. because it has been minimally processed, you really get to taste the ground beef before, you know, all the other things go into it. So you right. get the full spectrum of, 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 your, of your flavor. Okay, perfect. Let's mm -hmm. drop it in the bag. And next, oh, this is so convenient because we are already by the pasta yes. aisle. The sauces, the sauces. Mm -hmm. What is the one thing that we need to make sure we're reading on the label when it comes to our tomato sauce? Absolutely. And with any a condiment, uh, you want to make sure that you're not getting too much of something on enough of the other. So with sauces, of course, you're going to have the benefits of tomatoes, which include lycopene, mm -hmm. uh, which is an antioxidant. But you also want to make sure you're not getting too much sugar in your pasta uh, and in your sauces specifically. So I found one that you can get anywhere, and I happen to love this brand. Um, it's so good. And you'll see where uh, the sugar intake is super low, uh, which is really good. Now, if you want to add a little bit more, if you're look, used to a sweeter spaghetti, Billie Yeah, Jean, some people like to sprinkle sugar yeah, in their sauce. Yeah, sprinkle a little sugar in your sauce. Go for the stevia, go for the sugar in the raw. Oh, yes. okay, so you can still do it, but mm -hmm. get, like, diet sugar? I mean, it, yeah, yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll say not diet, but more natural. Natural sugar, mm -hmm. okay. So this has a total of four grams of sugar. Yes. Okay, all good. Yes, Alrighty. absolutely. Next. And you really get that full taste of the tomatoes and, and the authenticity of it. Okay, mm -hmm. good. All right, a little Italy in the yes. Okay, so the pasta. Now, you talk about carbs. You talk about how they can be healthy, mm -hmm. but... When sometimes I read the label, I don't I don't see how that can be. Well, here's the thing, you know, pasta again can be as healthy as you want it to be. And when we look at pastas now, uh, there's so many other options. A lot of the pastas you have now are uh, infused with uh, protein and, and higher forms of carbohydrate, uh, excuse me, fiber. Mm -hmm. So that fiber intake is very beneficial, especially when you're having a higher carb dinner so that your your food can break down properly. Okay, so mm -hmm. what would you go with off of this aisle? I want you to pick up that bonza chickpea oh. spaghetti noodle. Okay. And I want you to put it in a pot as soon as possible and boil it, okay? <laughs> because this is some of the best spaghetti pasta I've ever had. And it doesn't taste like, it doesn't have that earthy, healthy taste. I mean, it actually tastes like good homemade pasta. And so I see it has 20 grams of protein, mm -hmm. 8 grams of fiber. You said it's made from chickpeas. How is that different than other brands of pasta? So in, 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 in contrast to other brands of pasta, chickpeas are high in fiber, high in protein. Okay. And so being that it is a carb, although it is high in fiber, high in protein, it's going to really be beneficial for your, for your dinner. So mm. it's not going to leave you feeling bloated and oh, puffy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. See, I don't know if I would have grabbed this because I would have assumed uh -huh. that chickpeas uh -huh. uh, uh, don't no. really know about the taste. Yeah. But we're all good here. Absolutely. Okay. And what is the other ingredients that you think we need to add to make this a perfect pasta? So you want to make sure that you have an oil. You got to have an oil base. Okay. I always go for the extra virgin olive oil. So your your EVOOs are going to be the uh, healthiest version. And if you're going to go for an EVOO, I would definitely go for Primal Kitchen because it's going to be sold everywhere. And it's super, super healthy. The great thing about EVOOs is that they have EA, DHA, mm -hmm. they've got omega-3s, which are healthy for your body, healthy for your skin. Uh, so this is always going to be a good addition to your food. All right. And I love the skin addition. So mm -hmm. I'm going to drop this right in mm -hmm. here. I think we have everything we need to make 
the perfect pasta. So let's take this back to the kitchen. Come on. And get to whipping it up. I'm hungry. All right, come on, let's go. <laughs>